Hello everyone and welcome to the woods. This is Matt from In Defense of Plants and today we're doing something a little bit different. Instead of going out with a specific goal in mind, I thought we'd talk about a really cool hypothesis called the Vernal Dam Hypothesis. So come on, join us. Let's talk some science in the forest. So in 1978, a man by the name of Robert Moeller had an idea, and it all came down to soil nutrients. You see, in the absence of plants, Moeller proposed that soil nutrients like nitrogen and phosphorus would be washed away right out of the soil during the spring snowmelt. He called this idea the vernal dam hypothesis and suggested that spring flowering species, like these violas coming up here, act as nutrient sinks. The cool thing about spring ephemerals is that they're very active at low temperatures. In fact, they can't handle the warm summer temperatures that most other plants can. That's why they go dormant so early, or at least one of the reasons. When they're actively growing like this, although it doesn't look like much right now, there's a lot of action going on underneath the soil, in the root zones. And it's that activity that acts as the sink for these nutrients. But they couldn't do it without the help of another large group of organisms in forests, the fungi. So let's go look for some. With surprisingly few exceptions, the majority of plant species form symbiotic relationships with specialized fungi that live in the soil. Collectively, these fungi are referred to as mycorrhizae, and they live on and sometimes even in the roots of other plants. And that's key. Without them, a majority of plant species that we know and love simply wouldn't be able to survive, or at the very least, not do nearly as well as they do today. Now these fungi act like an extended rooting system and they're really good at scavenging for nutrients like nitrogen and phosphorus. In return for their partnership, the plants pay them in carbohydrates, so everything that they're making with photosynthesis. So it's this wonderful give and take relationship that has increased the diversity of most of our ecosystems. And it's also a key component of the vernal dam hypothesis. Now, as I stated, the idea goes that spring melts and rainfall would wash a lot of these nutrients out of the soils and into our waterways. Well, they also are timed perfectly for when spring ephemerals start to emerge. And many of them are forming these extensive mycorrhizal networks that mop up all of these nutrients that would otherwise be washed away. Now, spring ephemerals obviously need these nutrients to, to live and grow. But the really cool part is, is that they all kind of form these little reservoirs of nutrient pockets in their tubers and their bulbs and their roots and their stems. And as these eventually senesce or die back, these nutrients are then released for later growing things, a lot of them being trees and species that will come on board once things really start to warm up. Now this is a really cool idea. It makes a lot of sense when you hear it, but since 1978, very few of the assumptions of the vernal dam hypothesis have ever actually been tested. That's starting to change though, and what they're finding is pretty cool. So one study estimated that the amount of nitrogen and potassium that would be lost each year is completely offset by spring ephemerals. Another one showed that these spring flowering species are able to take up at least 12% of the nitrogen laid down by last fall's leaf crop. These are really big numbers when you consider the extent of some of these uh, species distributions. But sadly, as forests get fragmented around the globe, we're finding that genetic diversity of these spring ephemeral species is harder to maintain. And that paints a really grim picture for the future in terms of species being able to adapt to further human disturbance. So now more than ever, I think we need to conserve these wild spaces and restore what's lost before it's too late. All right, everyone, this was a short video this week, but I thank you for watching. It's been a lot of fun making these and there's plenty more on the horizon, so keep checking back for more. Don't forget to hit subscribe so you can stay on top of all the video updates. Have a great week, everyone.